Oh my god, is this it? <gasps> it is! It's the High Elf Campaign. It's been three weeks since the last episode, but I'm finally back, and look at my beautiful army. Now, you may notice that things are a bit different, and I will tell you why they're a little bit different. Well, that's simply because I lost my campaign. Um, my PC crashed, and I lost my game folder, and I was using the Baron Samedi mod pack, because I had backed up all of my saves for e every game. But... You have to use Baron Samedi from the very start to enable all of the scripts. So I had to recreate my entire High Elf cam campaign using that mod pack. And it worked until it crashed. And I couldn't get past that crash. So then I had to reinstall once more. And now I'm using the Vanilla 3.1 gameplay patch. And I'm playing as the High Elves. And I had to retake every province that I had in order to try to recreate everything that I did in my Let's Play. So it took me a long time. It took me a long while. But I had to do it because I didn't want to stop this campaign for all of you. So keep in mind, I did it for all of you. Now, we're at the Battle of Longbottom. The Hobbit Village of Longbottom. So let's go ahead and start moving up our archers and whatnot. Since they are all on this hill. This lovely, lovely hill. And, uh, it's going to be a long and tedious battle from what I can see. Let's see, I can send in my spearmen first. Oh, and I have these guys. Since I was able to play on my own, I was able to focus and I was able to really grow my kingdom. Or my Thalmor dominion. And so I cannot wait to show you guys my shiny, beautiful high elf armies. My other armies more badass than this one. So let me tell you, I've been doing some badassery lately. Anyway. The Smiths of Aragion, or Aragion, whatever man, they have hammers, they have shields, they're awesome, we're sending them in. Alright, so let's start sending them in. Let's see, I guess I'll have uh, Glor Glorfindel and his boy's axe to move from this side. Yeah. This is going to be a messy battle as you can see. I may have to pause while I move men up just because of how slow this will be. Oh guys, how will you feel about me hosting, or at least me um, h helping to host a Minecraft server that will support as many people as I want and it'll be open to all of my subs. Now let me know on what you think on that. I'll probably make a video talking about it in, in more depth but that's going to be something that's going to happen over the summertime and I think that'll be pretty cool for you guys to see and what not. Alright, let's start moving my other soldiers over here with Glorfindel and what not. Let's move some more men over here move my archers over here and I'm gonna pause while I fast forward just because this is a really big map and a, actually a really big town I mean this is a custom town I believe and it's quite lovely in how they made it but if it's not then it's still a really cool town anyway let, let me pause now okay I'm back here are my catapults here is my everything for the most part now I'm gonna have them fire at these Breland militiamen so we can soft oh well that's not gonna work out very well oh 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 Okay, it's overshooting a bit. Let's see if I can get them to fire at the archers. I do want to soften them up just due to the amount of archers that they have. So let's see how that goes. Let's see, we're going to move up our men a bit more. Let's, uh, let's do that slightly more. Okay. Yeah, this is actually a well-defended little location, definitely. I don't like it. <laughs> They're a bit too defended for my taste. But we're going to slaughter them all. I mean, this will be a fairly bloody battle, but it'll show off the might of my powerful Thalmor Dominion army here. Alright, catapults, do your thing. No! Hitting the hill is not doing your thing. Oh my dear jeez. Alright. No more catapults. Unless that works, but I doubt it. Screw you, catapults! No more for you! Alright. I had no clue that this town was so well defended. And yeah, I have very few uh, archers. I mean, you, usually I would just shoot things up and just make them pin cushions. But I was like, eh, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I get a little bit more action in. So I'm going to use melee. A melee. Lots of the melee. Spank it the melee. I like it the melee. Let's use it the melee. Anyway, sorry, I'm in a goofy mood right now. I woke up a bit ago. I have to go on a trip again, but I'll only be gone for two and a half days, and well, now that I've, I'm getting my Medieval 2 stuff back, you're going to be seeing a special surprise soon, and I think you will love it. Oh, let's fire at this fool here. 
Oh, catapults. Oh, beautiful catapults. Do some nasties. There we go. Come on. I need you to, you know, really give it to these bastards over here. I wonder if I can see how many they're killing. Yeah, see, I missed that new feature from uh, the newer Total War games where you can just, like, scroll your mouse over your unit and it'll tell you how many men that they've killed. And I find that to be pretty nifty. Yeah, so as as you can tell too, I've been playing a lot of Fall of the Samurai. I actually became fairly proficient at the multiplayer. I'm by no means a pro, but I was be I was becoming very very good at it. Here we go. All right, let's get some kills here. Oh, I hope they're not firing at my archers. I'll be pissed. Very pissed. But yeah, we're gonna soften up their archers here. Kill them, stupid woodland people. You damn woodlands. Yes fire at these guys now. See if we can push them back. Fire! Kill them all, dirty humans! Ah, blah, 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 blah. Boom! Headshot everywhere. Oh, my headshots just pawned them everywhere. Oh, they're gonna run like little baby girls. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so, I've also picked up a few new commentating partners, such as Lincoln. He's a pretty awesome dude. He, d he doesn't have his own channel, but I... I'm being sure to include him into my uh, videos more and more. Don't let him know that I complimented him. It'll go to his to his head. He's from Scotland, and uh, we share a lot of the same interests. So it's been really cool to meet someone from the EU, from that area of the world, where I, we actually share interests. I mean, because we, we come from two completely different uh, cultures. My culture likes McDonald's. His likes Haggis. Oh, Haggis. Anyway, I like to make fun of him. But to be fair, we do trade uh, jabs back and forth. And, of course, mine are better. But anyway. <laughs> oh, God, I've killed so... Oh, no! Don't fire at my men! Stop it! I hate you! Kill them all. Kill them all. Hate them. Don't you fire at my men. I'll kill you. Well, I'm going to kill you anyway, but... Oh, well. I'm actually, I'm actually very rich too. Um, I have over 100,000 gold coins, but I'm losing like 2,000 coins per turn. But still, I mean, th that's not really going to matter when I take over the whole, whole freaking world. But anyway, men, advance! We must take this hill. Yes, we can do it, men. Just charge forth. Yes. God, I'm so hyper. Ah, uh, some of you will be like, oh, he's on the, he's on the crack again. Yep, all through real beliefs, always on that crack co co cocaine. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, let's get my general up here. We're going to charge from the rear. Let my men go forth. Alright, I'm losing too many men and I don't like that very much, so... We're going to shend in my uh, uh, swordsmen. Yes. Go forth, swordsmen. Go forth. Alright. <gasps> no! Oh no! That's not what I want! Stop it! <laughs> Bad! Run back, elf people! Oh dear! So yeah, they've killed quite a few, but still, their archers are quite potent for being lames. Alright, Imlad did his archers, go forth. Swordsmen, go forth. Smiths, smithy men, go forth. I need to have them attack from the... Is there a, one way up? Oh, there is only one way up. Holy cow! I didn't know this! Oh, shit. Alright, it's gonna get bloody. One moment. <laughs> ah, swordsmen, go forth. You're about to see the full might of my armies. One moment. Or at least a, a partial might. <laughs> Alright, stop firing. I'm gonna let my, my swordsmen slaughter these Breelin militiamen. Let's get Glorfindel up here. Need him to go start killing these fools. Like these archers. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have him charge straight in. All right. Yeah. The combat is really slow in this game, but who cares? It's just, it's just cool seeing all, all of my men kill and whatnot. So let's see. I've killed twenty percent. They've killed four percent of my men. We're gonna, we're gonna see how my army performs overall. Ah, look at you guys trying to be all spiffy and whatnot. Let's take care of them. Fire arrows. Flame on! Oh, holy shit. I can charge through this hill? For, for real? For real. Damn. Nice. Alright, here comes my, my swordsman. 
Here comes Glorfindel. Charge these hobbit archers. Oh, he's leading the fucking charge. Here, we, here he comes. He doesn't give a fuck. He's Glorfindel. Ah! Oh, rain of fire upon thee! Die, Daves! That's my balder over here. Glorfindel, baby. Alright, let's get, let's get out of here. Come on, Glorf, Glorfindel. You're better than these scrubs. I just need him to distract them temporarily. Just so that I can get my men up here. Yeesh. Are you firing at my men? Oh no, I can't like that. I can't like that anyway. Let's fire at those guys up here. Swordsman! Cut them up. Use your use your steak knives, your giant steak knives. Excellent. Alright, Glorfindel. Charge back in. You did lose quite a few, but I don't care. Huh. Flying horse. Follow his I don't know. Something something. Okay, I'm firing into their great mass. Glorfindel's helping out. My swordsmen are warmed up. And they're definitely killing quite a few of these hobbits. Hobbits are quite sturdy, I mean. I guess this is how the war would really go, right? Nah. <laughs> they would get pwned a lot easier, but in here they're a lot more potent and powerful. But they do have these Bandobras archers. Quite deadly. I would really love to see some dwarf archers, because uh, crossbows for the dwarves did not exist from what I understand. Um, so they they did use bows. They could use short recurve bows that would be suitable for their height and whatnot. I probably lost most of my men from my own friendly fire, but oh well, things happen and in the Talmor dom Dominion, high elf li lives are not a precious com commodity. Because I have ordered all the elves to have sex! And as a result, oh, here's my smiths. Hello, smithies. Oh, look at them. They're like, yeah, we's, we's coming to fuck thing up. I got a hammer, I got a shield. I'm gonna fuck some shit up. Oh, yeah. That's basically what, what they're saying right now. No joke. Alright, smiths. Kill these hobbit archers. Need to send in more, more men. We're still firing into their great mass. Oof. They've lost so many. They've lost 41%, but I've lost 11%. But you know, I can always replenish my losses. And I'm I'm not going to be as careful as I used to be. Like, where I would just have a massive archer army in, and I killed all of them. I'm going to fight aggressively, like this. Yeah! Beat him! Smack down! Ooh! He just kicked that, that hobbit. You just got punted. Oh yeah, get them, get that. Hobbits are like, oh no, where's my tea and cupcakes? Oh, oh, this is so good. Yeah, take that. I shall beat you back, sir. And they're all like, nope, hammer to the face, you bitch. Ooh, I would love to hear the crackling of little hobbit skulls. Oh, oh, yes, it would be quite pleasant to my ears. Oh, uh, do 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 do. I believe that's hurting their morale uh, overall. But yeah, let's go back to normal fire. Glorfindel! Charge! My swordsmen have been fighting for quite some time. They're, they're still trying to take this hill here. But they will take it. Smiths! Go forth and kill! Wah, 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 wah! Go forth and kill as well! Wah, wah, wah! Did I lose any of these men? Oh, I did. You killed some of my Mladeris riders. Oh no, I dislike you. Okay, here comes all of my men. Alright, let's move them up now because we need to have my archers fire into their nasty little hobbit holes. Alright, get back. I'll use the light of Elbereth, but the rest of you just need, need to go fight. Alright, smithies. Do your thing. Yeah. They are doing well because they're in such a nice spot. I mean, they, they really are. They're in a great defensible spot. There's only one way in, and they're on a fucking hill. If I had this spot, I mean, this is as good as any castle. Definitely. Alright. Come on, elves. Let's move up. Run. Don't walk. This is not a walking day. Alright. Let's see. Let's fire at their archers up, up here. That's what I want to kill. Let's see. Let's kill. Yeah, let's kill these. These these guys here. 
Stupid woodland archers. Alright, let me see if I can have them over here to flank. That would be quite nifty. Oh, my dear God, stop that! No, do not want you to charge. There we go. Let's have him charge from his side now. Oh, they're shaking. They are leaving now. Here's my men. Yeah, combat in this game is a lot sl uh, slower paced than, let's say, Shogun 2, where combat is over in mere moments. It's just crazy. Ah, I haven't played it since before my first vacation. I know it was fun. I've killed 57% of them so far. Yeah, nice, huh? Alright, archers keep firing. You keep firing as well, M. Lazarus Riders. Who have very nice clothing. Makes me want to play Lord. <laughs> oh, my back! <laughs> I can fire, because I have no spine. That's weird. But, um. It makes me want to play Lord of the Rings online. I wonder if you guys would watch me play a MMO. That would be weird to, like, track all of the progress that I do in a MMO. That actually might be cool. Um, if you guys let let me know what you think, like I'll cut out the grinding part, but as far as doing quests, I guess I could include that. And I think that would be cool. Like my friend is going to buy me Terra online because I'm his um uh, um manager now, so I manage his uh time, which is quite interesting and I'm gonna have to work on that today but before I leave actually this is gonna be a really busy day but I'm gonna make time to record so that I can render while I'm busy doing things so that you guys can have things to watch while I'm gone and I may start making a schedule soon and what what a bloody battle but I may start making a schedule soon where I'm basically going to um set days about when I upload things I'm just gonna have to make sure that I set time to do like 30 minute episodes or at least 20 minutes so that oh what's this I'm sorry about that I had to pause the game for just a brief moment but I'm back now and yeah let's see the battle is dragging on and as we can see the Breland militia seems to be fighting against me with great tenacity however that will not avail them today I will tell you that right now. These guys are dead. They're all dead. They're just p delaying the inevitable. And that's a fun word to say, so I shall say it once more. The inevitable. Anyway, let us go up and flank them again. Yes! Yes! Victory shall be ours. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Up here. Up here. Alright. Excellent. Now we charge. Alright, let's see if I can maneuver some more soldiers up here. My archers continue to fire, and Glorfindel does his little Glorfy thing. Alright, we have attacked him from every side. Defeat is inevitable. I'm coming for you. Bam! In the face! Hammer to the face! Alright, slowly beating them down. I only had to use a small portion of my army, not even all of it. Uh, archers are running out of ammunition now to pull them back. I shall. I'll just combine them into a different, or a new unit, rather. Move back, my friends, move back. Other battles will be much easier with this type of uh, force that I have. It's just that this is one of the difficult battles, you know what I'm saying? I hope you do. <laughs> because I hardly know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway. These are heavy infantrymen? Alright. That's what I'm hoping for. Yep, they're routing now. Okay. Let's move my smiths to the side a bit. Have these guys charge up. We need to engage them on every front, as so I am inclined to do. Come on, Smithies. Get over here. Get over here. What are you doing? Get back over here. I told you not to leave. Or, I have told you now. Do not leave. Alright, Smithies. Let's fight the rest of these hobbitry in arms. Slay them. Charge in. Alright, get you guys up. And get some more swordsmen up here. Yeah, you guys were like, get rid of all the militia. So, that was definitely one of my goals as I was um, playing through the campaign once more to get back to this point. To like turn 112 or 111 was that I would make all golden beautiful armies. Like so. Anyway, keep, keep on moving friends. Keep on moving. You don't need to stop. Don't stop. There we go. Alright. Let's go. Right over here. We'll hit them from several points. Charge at, at the Breland Militia. 
you guys can charge at uh, these Breland militiamen. You charge here, you charge down there, and these guys will take care of the hobbitry in arms. They've killed 18, per almost 20% of my men, but I've killed 80% of theirs. Yeah, they're beginning to fire at me now. My men are very tired, but of course I won't let them rest. Ooh, very nice. Oh, they're firing their last few volleys. Come on, kill the band, the band of brass archers. No problem, right? Right. Okay. Oh yeah, we're just sweeping over them now. Just need to engage them in melee, and it should be. Oh, there we go. We have defeated almost everything here. Now it's on their last few venues of strength here. Let's see how they're able to pull this off. Ooh, gosh. What a bloody massacre. Massacre. <laughs> Just like this Campogne is so much fun. I know, I'm mispronouncing things on purpose. Not that I need to do that. I do that just fine all, all on my own, but anyway. Let's get Glorfindel up here so he can observe the battle. While my men continue to slaughter and kill and maim and destroy. Alright. I have a supplemental army that has um, less high tier troops. It has a mid mid tier troops, which would be the Nora Tierno warriors. So I can uh, use them to replace any losses that I have. But they're honestly there to just garrison towns that I take, so I don't have to stop moving. I figured I'd make a slightly effective war machine so that I could keep moving on. Seems like a good idea, anyway. Yeah, I didn't want to damage my spearmen right now, so just letting my swordsmen can kind of move in and kill as many as they can. Whew. Come on, we gotta slay these fools. I'm just tempted to fast forward here because this is gonna be a long, tedious grind, but actually, I guess I will because I mean, we know what's go gonna happen here, so one moment. Alright, here we go, and it's the last few vestiges of their forces. Just fighting against my Thalmor Dominion army here, as I like to call them. Since we won't be having a Skyrim t uh, Total War for quite some time, even if that mod gets off its feet. Or I believe it's Oblivion Total War or something, I don't know, but... Anyway. I'm telling you, I mean, Total War just needs to partner up with a bunch of pre-existing IPs and they would do very well. But um, I'm going to talk about a different topic about my thoughts on how Total War does their stuff or Creative Assembly does their stuff. Um, basically using the publisher model is very much outdated. They need to, to look at, at how Valve works. They uh, publish their own games and they fund their own games and they become very rich. No one from CA is going to be very very rich except for the, the very top few but even then they're not going to be very, very rich. Whew. Well, they went all the hobbits. Yep, that's it. So, they should fund their own games. That's basically what I am saying because the publisher model, which is what you get from like movies and uh, mu music, is severely outdated and it's not good for game development. But anyway, Glorfindel, I lost 345. They lost all 2,417 of their men. Let's see, my archers killed quite a few. Alright, let's just move on now and see the campaign map and I can show you guys what has changed. 